Assalamu alaikum and welcome back everyone chapter 4 3 of the Arduino series in this video we're going to cover LCD displays with an I2C module I'm going to go over a simple script that allows us to input data into the serial monitor and present it onto the LCD display now my LCD display and my monitor came out separately and I soldered it together and I soldered it in a way that makes it inefficient because it makes it too long you are meant to solder it upside down so that just so that you can preserve more space now if you're going to end up soldering like me you want to make sure that your pins are facing towards the start of the pins on the LCD display but I've soldered the I2C module onto the the LCD display just so that I can present the pins better. Now the components you're going to need for this video is going to be very minimal. You're going to start off with the LCD display with the I2C module attached, four female to male jumper wires and along with your Arduino. Now looking onto the I2C module you're going to find out that you only have four pins. Now by now you should be familiar with ground, GND symbol and VCC. And the final two pins, SDA, which stands for Serial Data, and SCL, which stands for Serial Clock. Begin by grounding your I2C module. Next, you want to connect the 5 volts from the Arduino to the VCC pin on the I2C. And SDA and SCL are, is going to be connected to the Analog 5 and Analog 6, respectively. Now, starting off with the script, we're going to refer to two different libraries, so we're going to include both of them. The first one's called the Liquid Crystal underscore I2C, watch your cases, dot H. Now this is going to be the library that's going to hold all the commands for us to communicate between the Arduino and the LCD display with the I2C. And the second library, wire.h, is going to give the Arduino the ability to communicate to the I2C module. Now these ones should also come pre-installed with your Arduino software. Now the next command actually activates the LCD display with the I2C module. Now using the command liquid crystal underscore I2C LCD and then within the parentheses, the first one's going to be the address of the I2C. And I'm going to tell you how to find that in a bit. And next, you're going to tell the dimensions of the LCD. So mine's going to be 16 by 2. So I'm going to write the address of the I2C and then 16 by 2. Now, if you're going to be using a 16 by 2 LCD display, the address is most likely going to be 0x lowercase 27. It may be different in some cases. However, I will show you a script that will find you the address. Now once you've wired a connection between your I2C module and your Arduino, you want to connect the Arduino to your computer, upload it and go to your serial monitor. After a short period, you should see the address of your I2C module. Next, you want to make a variable that we're going to use for the delay command. In the void setup, we begin by activating the LCD display and the serial monitor. Using the command LCD init, this initiates and activates the serial monitor and LCD backlight activates the background light. Finally, ending off with serial.begin with the baud rate of 9600. In the void loop, I do use two different statements, but I will explain their functions. Now in the if statement within the parentheses, serial.available and then within the curly brackets lcd clear this tells the arduino that if there is something in the serial buffer which is what stores our input in the serial monitor i tell it to clear the lcd now the if statement has to come before the while statement so that we, once we input something and pass it onto the lcd it doesn't get removed now in the while statement within its parentheses i use the command serial.available not equal to zero this means that if we were input something into the serial monitor i want a response and this response is going to be lcd write which is basically almost like serial.print. To print the command serial.read, this is going to print what I've written in the serial monitor. And if you don't add a delay command at the end, it does bug out a little bit, meaning that if you add, if you write and twice, it does come out and and instead of and and then refreshes and then and again. Uploading your code and opening up the serial monitor, you'll notice that if you were to type anything onto the serial monitor, it's going to be presented on the LCD. If you do wish to access the codes that I've been using, especially the one I used to find the address of the I2C, you can find it in my Discord, which will be linked in the description. Or you can also ask me any questions just in case there's something that wasn't explained well enough or you just didn't understand it. And if this video has helped you out in any way, consider giving it a like. 